And it's time for us to continue day one. Nancy Drew, the final scene. I'm your Gibbs. Look what we have here. We have a magic wand. We have a quarter and a gear. Now I do greatly appreciate all of your tips that you've been sharing. Obviously I am avoiding spoilers. But uh, so far you folks are doing a great job with that, which is great. And I know that a lot of you have already played this game. And I mean it's old, right? And all that good stuff. But this is my first time, and I always appreciate giving or being given the opportunity to explore on my own. That doesn't mean you can't provide me with tips and tricks. I do appreciate those as well. It's just that I'm, uh, you know, I don't want to know who did it and all that kind of good stuff. All right, so I know there's a trapdoor over there, and I also know there's a couple dudes that I have not actually spoken to. So there's a trapdoor right there. The there's a dude that is the uh, activist guy. There's actually the lady in here too. I don't know if she's got anything new to say. Let's go see if she's got anything new to say. This calls priority Trimulator. Okay, so she's got nothing new to say. And of course there is the secret passageway over there too. So we should make our way to the front, I'm gonna say. Although there's the dude back here. I wonder if he can he's actually in here and he has anything new to say. Hello? No, I don't actually see him here. Huh. Wait, did I look at the Cinco already? I think I did, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right, because that's the handle for the secret passageway. Wait, is he actually in here? Huh, he's not in here. So I don't actually have a clock, so I don't know what time it is. And actually, am I to sleep? Maybe I won't be able to sleep until I actually finish what I'm supposed to on day one. Anyways, uh... So as the curtain goes here. Now one of you were suggesting that I need to walk down the middle, I think it was. So let's go ahead and do that. And I was supposed to find something here. Oh! Something pink over there. Aha! Ick! <laughs> Put it with our quarter? <laughs> Ick. All right, so now we have a magic wand with gum on it. All right, cool, cool, cool. So let's see if we can find our uh, projectionist. If I can just get that way. And also the activist dude. Not sure if he was in here. No, it's not here. Don't think. Heist. The projector's gonna be upstairs, but I don't. Oh, there he is. Oh, look, he's actually got his own little poster up there too. Haha. -ha. Hey there, Mister. No teeny boppers till showtime. House rules. Uh, teeny boppers. Hello. Have you seen my friend Maya? She's nineteen, five five, black hair. She has on running shoes, jeans, and a black shirt with butterflies on it. And the crisis is... Uh... She's a reporter doing a story on the theater demolition. She was trying to interview Brady Armstrong. Forget Charmstrong. If she wants the real story, she better talk to me. And who might you be? Hollywood? The fantastic plastic vacuum? I wouldn't go there in a pig's suitcase. I'm Nicholas Falcone, solemnly sworn to lead the forces of Haddit and slay the dragon of corporate generica. Who are you? And what's with the doom and gloom? I'm Nancy Drew. I think I need to call the police. What are you calling them for? A little taste of your tax dollars going bad? Well, you're a breath of optimism. What's this had it all about? Haven't you heard? The battle is on. There's a human chain forming out front as we speak. But all that can wait. It's obvious you got a situation. So what's up? Well... My friend's been kidnapped. I've got to alert the police and then start searching this place. Whew. Kidnapping? <laughs> That's a high-profile tactic. Somebody means business. So what's the demands? The phone call was awful. They want the demolition stopped. No kidding. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Wait, what? 
No, 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 no. You don't kidnap somebody for that kind of thing. Excuse me? We're talking about a girl's life here. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. Well, I don't think that statement's appropriate. Oh, so this is just a pretend kidnapping. I never would have guessed. Maya's scream sounded so real. She'll be okay. Trust me. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm not about to take that chance. If you need a phone, there's an outside line in the ticket booth. Nancy, what's the 411? The 411? Come on, Nancy. That's vintage slang. You know, the 411, the deal, the lowdown. So, humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters. Tell me about it. This theater's a spotted owl. It's a humpback whale. It's endangered. Illustrious buildings testify to our finest human hours. They should be celebrated, not bulldozed to make way for cardboard megaplexes. Need I say more? Do you know what they plan to build on this spot after the theater is gone? Oh, it's very hush-hush. The name of the building firm is Wave of the Future, and the owner is some B. Thompson, descendant of J.J. Thompson, but he's never available for comment. Fishy, right? Ten bucks says B stands for baloney. <laughs> baloney. His name is Baloney Thompson. Catch you later. On the flip side. On the flip side. All right. Fair enough. Let's go upstairs then. And uh, from what I understand, this is a little tricky here. Aha, okay, so that's to the balcony. And this should be to the projector room. Ooh, the moose next door. Sounds like a Canadian film. Hello? What a mess in here. Let's go out to the lobby. Let's go out to the lobby. Actually, they still even show that. I actually saw a movie recently, uh, last week actually. Well, based on when I'm recording this. And they still had that uh, let's go out to the lobby thing where you want to go out and buy your snacks. Now, I was actually at an American movie theater. But uh, nonetheless, I'm pretty sure they still do that at Canadian ones too. Clayton. Projector care and operation. Oh boy, monitoring the film and the projector once the film is properly loaded. Am I going to actually have to be a projectionist? Aren't they unionized? I don't think Nancy should be able to get away with this. There was a key here. Yeah, it looks like it was in, uh, left an impression. There was a key here. There was a key here. There was a key here, is what Nancy's there telling us. There was a key here. There was a key here. Are you really gonna make me go all the way to the back to the beginning game? Yep. Cause we need a projector key. Oh, we can go in here. What the heck is that? I have no idea. Maybe it's a light bulb? Yeah, it looks like it's an Acme light bulb for the projector. Potentially. Wait a minute. Where's the dude? Isn't there supposed to be a dude in here? I'm just rifling through all his stuff. Got some chemistry going on over here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, what? Would you like to make coffee? Would you like to make co- Oh, there he is! Hey there, buddy. You must be Nancy. The worry's written all over your face. Well, I'm Joe. I started to look for you, but then I figured better to park myself and let you find me. Any trace of your friend? I found the secret passageway all right, but no sign of Maya. I can't believe this is happening. Well, what about calling the police? There's an outside line in the ticket booth. In the lobby? Great! I'll be back later. Okay, so let's, uh, snoop Watch around out there, a Nancy. Bit. That projector's crumbling like a prehistoric cookie. Ooh. Don't touch that projector, dear. It's a temperamental old beast. Okay. But I want to touch it there. Good sir. Okay, so let's go back outside here. And we'll hang on left here. Check out the balcony. 
Is this where I want to be? I don't know. Oh, we can go forward. What are all these? What's this all about? Ooh, look at all that popcorn! <laughs> Ew, that's kind of gross, actually. Uh, can we actually go to the other side? Maybe we have to go through the other door. Okay, we'll do that. We'll scooch over here. Uh, can I not go right? There we go. Don't forget the snacks. That's where they make all their money. What was I? I'm trying to think of how much was the popcorn? A small popcorn. Ah, uh, because I never actually get anything bigger than a small. Because I just like I don't like those buckets. Just I don't know. I actually love popcorn, but I don't like that feeling of having so much popcorn. Like I don't know where you put it all. But anyways. A small popcorn at that theater was four dollars or six dollars. It was expensive. Okay, what's this all about? Whoa, what's this? I can't quite reach. Ah, we have a wand with a gum. And now we have two gears. Yay! We keep the wand too. And we still have gross popcorn there. I'm not exactly sure what this is about here. I wonder if I can put that there. No. Okay. Strange. Maybe the corner? No. Okay, we'll come back to that. We're gonna go and try and make a phone call down here. I think, well, we made a phone call to 911 and it was like putting me on hold basically. So maybe we can make it for real Z this time. Go inside. Find a legit phone right there. 911. Pick up, pick up. St. Louis Police Department. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. Is the kidnapping in progress? No. Hold on, miss. I'll transfer you to the missing persons unit. Missing persons? Sergeant Mac Ramsey speaking. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. No longer in progress. And who am I speaking with, please? My name is Nancy Drew. Okay, Miss Drew. Now, did you witness this kidnapping? No, but I heard it. What exactly did you hear? My friend went into a dressing room. I was out in the hall. And I heard her scream, so I went in after her, but she was gone. When and where did this happen? Just now, at the Royal Palladium Theater. And what's your friend's name, Miss Drew? Maya Wynn. Can you spell that, please? M-A-Y-A, -A, last name N-G-U-Y-E-N. -E Age? 19. Physical description? She's Asian American, I guess about 5'5", five, five, long black hair. So you didn't actually witness anything, is that right? I heard her screaming, and I received a threatening phone call. That must count for something. A threat. Can you describe the voice? Was it a man or a woman? It was spooky. I think they were using some voice disguise device. Hmm, yes. That'll make it impossible to tell the gender of the caller. Did you notice anything suspicious looking in the vicinity? No. No suspects. Any visible signs of struggle in the dressing room? Did your friend leave anything behind? Her purse? Anything that might have fallen out of her pockets? No. No evidence? Does your friend work at the theater? No, she's a student at Washington University. Does your friend have any enemies? Maya? I highly doubt it. And what business did Maya have entering the theater dressing room? She's a reporter for the school paper. She was there to do an interview. What about Maya's parents? Have they been contacted? They're in Vietnam this time of year. I don't know how to contact them. Okay, miss. I'll file this report. After 24 hours, if she hasn't turned up, we consider her a missing person, then begin to investigate. How can she turn up? She's been kidnapped! Unlikely. With all the scuttlebutt around this demolition, this stinks of student prank. A prank? But this building is going to be demolished in 72 hours! How can we afford to take that chance? How do you mean? The kidnapper must be holding her in the building, don't you think? Unlikely. No competent kidnapper keeps her captive anywhere near the scene of the abduction. Is there anything else, Miss Drew? Sergeant, I really don't think we can afford to wait 24 hours. It's standard procedure, Miss Drew. 
Unless you can provide us with some evidence that your friend was taken by force, it's 24 hours. Thanks, Sergeant. Mm. I'll call you back when I have the evidence. You do that. Bye. All right, well, we have to find real evidence, apparently. All right, time to call the BF here. Pick up, pick up. I won't call you again, mister. Hi, you've reached Nan at Omega Chi Epsilon. Oh. I'm not here to take your call right now, so please try again later. All right, let's call Bess then. Oops, I forgot the one. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, fine. I'll put the one in front. We're calling the long distance here, aren't we? Pick up, please, my BFF. Hello? Bess? What did the police say? According to standard procedure, they can't get involved until Maya has been missing for 24 hours. What could possibly be standard about a girl getting kidnapped? They're not convinced it's a kidnapping. Well, how did she disappear then? Poof? Alakazam? <laughs> Sergeant Ramsey says it could be a prank. Or Maya might have just taken off or something. Sergeant Ramsey obviously doesn't know Wash U's most dedicated reporter. It's true. The only way she would have abandoned this story is if someone dragged her away from it. Do Maya's parents know? They always travel this time of year, remember? And besides, I've got to find Maya before this demolition. I doubt her parents could get back from the other side of the world before then anyway. What a mess. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been so personally attached to a case. Call me back when you know more. I'll get a hold of George and Ned and let them know what's going on. Poor Maya. I guess the only consolation is that she's got you on the rescue mission. Poor Maya indeed. Aww. Alright, so where should we go? I'm going to see if this guy's new. What's up? Can't talk long. Gotta check on my people. What's your attachment to saving this theater? You seem so personally invested. Politics is personal, but with this place, it's ultra-personal. My grandma, Louisa Falcone, designed the molds for all the insane plaster work that you see in this lobby and in the auditorium. The detail is so intricate. You just don't see this kind of artistry in new theaters nowadays. True, true, but there's more. I guess the architect owner guy, J.J. Thompson, ran out of cash before the building was done. He never paid my grandma dime one, and then he denied that she had ever done the work in the first place. Why didn't he give her the credit? Yeah, she was the artist type, not a deal maker. I guess she'd never signed any contractual stuff with J.J., and she didn't have the resources to sue him or any of that, so I guess she just had to let it go. I wonder why Thompson would cheat her like that. Here's the kicker. After J.J. sharked her on this two-year project, she was broke. And then the Great Depression hit. She could never afford to work as an artist again. What did she do instead? Louisa, Mother Serenity Falcone? Ah, she just kept on trucking in true Falcone style. Died at 97 without a bitter bone in her body. I think she had a happy life. But this theater holds the last artwork she ever did. Don't you see, Nancy? Saving this place is not just for history. It's for justice. Hmm, interesting. She should at least get credit for her work. My family has been trying for years, but there doesn't seem to be anything on record that links her to this place. Nancy, could you do me a favor? Maybe. Maybe there's something buried in the theater. While you're searching, could you just keep your eye out? Well, Maya's my first priority. Maya's my first priority, as you can imagine. But if there's any way I can help set the record straight on this beautiful artwork, I will. You're cooler than I thought, Nancy. Yeah, I'm cool, Nan. And you're smarter than I thought. Yeah. Alright, so what do we want to do now? Well, I guess we can go to the back here, I suppose. Behind the curtain. Go this way. Do to do, and there's some ropes over here. Uh, okay, I guess we're undoing ropes. I keep touching the rope. Clunk. 
<laughs> what did I do? I don't know what I did. Time for Nancy to figure out what she's done. Oh, wait a minute. This wasn't here before. Aha! Looks like we're gonna be able to get into that basement or whatever, the trap door over there. Let's go. We'll take care of this. I think. Yeah, up and up and up we go. Nancy's so strong. Look at her. So let's turn around and see what we've done here. Aha! No, how do I get to it? Nope. How do I get to the trap door? Oh no, I want to go forward. There we go, but we're out of time! I know, cliffhanger! We'll be back for more, and Nancy drew the final scene very soon. Thank you all for watching.